Hello everyone, and here with another LEGO Throwback Thursday review, and, today, and the rotation of which leads us to a Bonacle uh, review, and today of which we'll be reviewing Tohardika Vakama and Matau from 2005. So on the front of each booklet, uh, see a picture of each set, and then it has a thing with the name there, and, and it's kind of similar, just like the 2004 versions, but with the Viserac webs all over, well suiting to the year. And, and then Lego logo and the set number. And, uh, on the back of which, add for the three Titan sets from 2004, and add for the Metro Nui movie. Then win on the online survey, and add for the Rohaga. After the Vaki from the year before, add for all the Tohardika, and then how to launch the Rituka Spinner and how you redeem the code on it. And then midway through is where it is the instructions for well the combination models, and then how to fit the Toa back in the canister. And then a little uh, slideshow-like thing showing how the little story of them. And each one is quite the same, except for the combination model instructions and everything. So first of all, of what's quite obvious is one of Vakama himself. So for the legs of which, uh, somewhat simplistic like the Toametru ones, but instead of the like, but except the feet are in are made of three pieces rather than two, and the feet of which they have used a lot in many other sets, but usually in this silver color for this for these Toa characters, with three pinholes there. Even though in the Baraki line, Kalma did kind of change it up a little bit. In the legs of which, which were made exclusive to this line of sets, until with uh, with uh, Makuda Chirox in the 2008 Fantoka line and Vastus in the 2009 Glatorian line. Sorry about the background noise. Anyways, as for each Toa Hordika which has the traditional Tomometru armor, but in silver color. Well, probably to differentiate them from the Tomometru versions of them. And the uh, torso of which, which were made exclusive to the Hordika, where they take the chest play off, which they have reused with the Marinui Matorans. And as you see, it has comprised of many pieces Zend is kind of that makes it hunched and hollow. But the back part of which has three uh, pinhole connections that stick out, and it's the little yellow thing there is where the Rituka spinner would go on to. <coughs> and the, the right arms, which are quite interesting which are the only use of gear functions in these sets, and also last time they've ever done gear functions. It's, it's like about seven pieces, eight including the weapon, and Vakamas in particular are these flame swords that I wish do have a bit of a rubberish feel to them. But close to how they were on the Web of Shadows movie, but for the other arm of which, just a uh, Toamata uh, leg arm piece. And just a second part of the weapon, second one, the weapon. But although in the Web of Shadows movie, it just a special piece on it with a hand onto it. So, because if it looks at that, then it looks kind of like they're holding a Suno hand. And, uh, not sure why they did that, but if anyone knows why, tell in the comments. But as for the head of which, 
which is football headed, and I don't mean Hey Arnold. And, but as well, the commas in particular is kind of it like that, and also this did get reused. This headpiece did get reused once with the uh, Karzani in the 2007 Mari line, but it was in, that was in dark green, and it came rare in that color. But although of what you can kind of it often do sometimes is swap the eye pieces out with the dark green versions to make it look like he's possessed of it in the Web of Shadows movie he does. And well, um, hang on. As I get this three rod out and how it's kind of built up with these little pieces, or ball joint pieces that they've used a lot in, but also still do in sets today. And each one has comprised of Borok eyes, so one of the only times they used a whole batch with that kind of piece. And just stick a three long rod in it and to make it work. Which, so they're uncom not compatible with other masks, which same can be said with the Toa and Nika, but more on that when we get to those ones. But as for a comparison of Tohurdika Vakama with Toa Metru Vakama, is the masks of which have kind of similar shaping. I think it's like still kind of a bit like that, but although a little bit different because since, of course, the Hordika Venom hasn't been fully mutated as yet. But same armoring. The same fire feel to them. Although the back part of the Metro torso, similar to the Hordika torso, with like the thing sticking out, and this is a little more. Anyways. <coughs> As for the main features of them and the Viserac, and most of the other of the sets released this time, is with the Ratuka spinners, which were a collectible thing at the time, like the Kanoka discs, masks, everything. And then stick it on that uh, yellow part. And you stick this ripcord thing into it, and then just let it fly. And in the instructions, it says that it can fly up to near 50 feet. And, well, same can be said with like the Lego Ninjago Erjutsu flyers and things. And I think that's about it. And now to Matau, of which one of my favorite Bonacle characters. So just like the other years, same kind of stuff, but different mask, different weapon, and different color. But although his of which are exclusive, which are these knife blade things, which were never used in any other sets. So and of course Wakama's was reused, so he was kind of the highlight flagship of the Hordika. And his headpiece, which made exclusive, they were all exclusive. But although his is a little bit on the small side of most of the Hordika. And yeah, but although one cool thing is with the uh, Wenuas, is they can click in and out like actual jackhammers, because obviously on the movie it kind of. Uh, went in a jackhammer motion. And then same function. And I think that kind of covers all the ugliness that he has come to find out about, if you get that from the Web of Shadows movie. And so now on to with the final verdict on these two. Overall, these I find uh, Tohurdika sets were pretty cool for were really cool sets, pretty cool sets for the time. 
at least first to introduce the Rituka spinners and all the last time of using the the uh, the gear functions, but it was just in the, one of the arms, and yeah. But also plenty of exclusive pieces that were made just to these, and but also do get also which you can still kind of use with mocking and things. And yeah, and if you still have these from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these, well, go ahead and get them, like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. And thank you for 200 subscribers. And for all of you who have subscribed, thank you so much. And that's about it with this video. And thanks for watching.